Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb for AskMrGreenThumb.com. If you're interested in herbs, man, who isn't, you ought to be thinking about how to grow some from seed. Now, when you go to your local nursery, you normally want to get packages of seeds. Now, first off, decide what you like. Is it going to be catnip for the cat? Or are you going to be growing a chia pet? Or are you going to be growing something in your earth box? A lot of folks have different ideas. Maybe you just want to show children how to grow something. But if you're going to grow herbs, there's many different kind of herbs you can have. You know, from catnip to uh, different mints, chocolate mint, there's all kinds. And once you start growing mints and different types of herbs, you may decide, oh, I really like the mints or I really like growing parsley for potatoes. Many of them are very nutritious. They're high in vitamins, antioxidants and there's going to add more flavor to your life. First off, of course, find out with the herb where it's typically grown. And there's information on the back of the seed package. It'll tell you exactly what part of the country, what time of year to start your seed. It also gives you important information on how deep to plant the seed. Some will be a quarter inch, some may be a half inch, might, some might be an inch. So pay attention to the package as far as timing and also how deep to plant the seed. Remember with seeds, if they dry, they die. So you've got to keep them moist. Now that doesn't mean soupy, too wet and they die as well. When you deal with something that lives and dies, you really have to pay attention to that. Also light, you got to make sure you get a good amount of light because almost all of them have to start producing energy right from the beginning. If you start to grow herbs, you're going to find that it's a fun hobby and one that you're really going to enjoy. For On Gardening, I'm Stan DeFritis.